What's up, everybody? Wolf here with another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video playing high space stat Pokemon at the moment. Today, we are going to be playing with Special Defense. Um, now, I'm imagining this team is going to work a, a little bit similar to the defense one. It's just, you know, it's reverse. And it seems that, well, from the last few videos, there's a lot of special attackers out there. So, like, I feel like this team should do okay. But, you know, when it comes to doing videos, of course we're going to get everyone who's just using physical Pokemon only. Um, but we've got some, like, weird synergy stuff we're going to try to do. The Gudra is actually built physical, and Toxpex is physical. They're the only physical ones on our team. Everyone else is special, so, like, uh, it's just, just, just the way the game fell. But, um, so we're going to go over, like, where everyone's base defenses are. Um, for special is why they're the highest in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet at the moment that is usable. Um, we have Florges coming at 154. We have Gudra coming in at 150. We have Toxapex at 142. Toxapex was on the defense one too. I think both of his defenses are like both 142. Um, Fluttermane is 135. Kryganol is 135. And Blissey is 135. So... We are seeing Blissey again, and we are seeing Fluttermane again. Um, Fluttermane's not changed. Fluttermane only does what it does. But Blissey, I felt kind of weird. I wanted to see like how offensive we can make Blissey, so I made it max special tech, max defense. So we'll see. And then I want to try a weird combo with the Fluttermane and Forges. Um, kind of like what we saw with the Iron Valiant, but instead of putting Focus Sash on, um, we're going to transfer the Life Orb over to our... Uh, our flutter main after it takes the booster energy and we'll just see what happens but yeah like I, I i don't honestly know how the team's gonna do i try to make it cover like what i could but i mean we'll see i mean gudra is gonna be pumping like almost 200 and like 50 something defense with the assault vest so like we could take probably a super effective hit pretty well but Let's go ahead and get in here. Let's find a battle. We know that I'll probably lose the first one or two till you know, I'm like, oh, hey, this is how the team should be played. Or it'll be like a defense video, and I'll think I'm losing, but I'm ultimately winning. But we'll see what happens. <sighs> but hopefully we go up against a lot of special attackers. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we're going up against. Special, special, special. Eh. So you have two physicals, but they have a lot of specials. That honestly makes me kind of happy. Um, let's see here, though. Let's. I'm going to try this lead just because I want to see it work. Gudra's not half bad here. Toxapex is kind of meh. Like, Gujra's pretty good, though. And I guess Blissey's not bad, either. It's just gonna get crapped on by the Mimikyu or uh, Roaring Moon, but everything else it'll tank with, like, ease. Plus, it'll give me Healer, so we can um, get rid of Spore, but we'll see what happens. Well, this'll be interesting. Alright, let's see what happens here. We're very bulky. But we're not like the defense team, though. Alright, so you're going for like some tailwind shenanigans. <laughs> yep, that was a lot that happened. Does his attack go up? Yeah. Alright, so here's the thing, though. Let's just go ahead and do a Dazzling Gleam. Let's just do a double Dazzling Gleam. They'll probably tear right here into Steel. Yeah. Figured as much. We'll see what happens, though. Roaring Moon and... Uh, let me turn it into ground. Roaring Moon and... Um, oh, uh, what's the name? Mimikyu are the ones I was worried about because they're so physically... I mean, we did a lot of damage, just wasn't enough. I mean, Floor just should still live this, I believe. Because the Earthquake is still going to be, uh... 
The earthquake is still going to be, I guess, half because there's two targets hitting it, but still, it's got an attack boost. Okay. So, honestly, Forges should still do quite a bit of damage. Not as much as I hope, though. So we've got a KO and a KO. Right, I have an idea. Amoongus. Um, I'm just going to protect... I guess I'm going to do this into this, because I need to get rid of the Roaring Moon. I'm pretty sure Amoongus probably outspeeds us with the, uh, with the, uh, Tailwind up, but we'll see. <laughs> My team's not that fast. That's fair. That's very fair. Breaking swipe. That did not feel good. No, it's not really gonna do anything. Sadly. Um, you know what? Let's just go for a Dazzling Gleam into a Fire Punch, I guess. It's just going to keep Rage Powdering. Yep. I mean, that's fair. Lockjaw. That's fair also. Yeah, I figured physical attackers were going to be our bane. It's so close to dying! <laughs> that one should be petering out here soon, though. Or not. Um, let's just go for a protect here. And we'll go for a... Dazzling Gleam. That's fine. Well, you're going to be sadly mistaken here for a second because I went for an attack. <laughs> it's still alive! <laughs> it's ridiculous. Alright, the Tailwind Peter Dell. I mean, I don't think it matters to first say. I guess we should have just gone for Stab, honestly. Right, he's just going for Earthquake. He, he didn't care anymore. He's hitting three targets now. Who's faster, Blissey or... Amoongus. Okay. Finally! I probably should have... If I would have... Well, yeah, I think Hyper Voice may have finished it. And he's... Cool. I guess it depends on what his last Pokemon is. Alright, we're going to heal 20 a turn. Just depends on what the last Pokemon is. Oh boy. Right, let's just try and get a protect. Oh, under freaking taunt. Yeah, I guess we just go for Ever Voices since I'm stuck under, uh. I'm stuck under taunt at the moment. So. <laughs> he's got rage. He's probably got like, uh. He's probably got, like, Giga Drain or something like that. And we're fast asleep. 
I imagine he's got like clear smog or something like that. Why is he to play? <laughs> I did nothing because we have no attack. Alright, my taunt wore off, so maybe we can snag a protect here. I mean, he's got no. He, all he's got to do is just. Okay, cool. So I'll get a little bit more HP back. I don't know if Blissey can uh, solo this. We're going to find out, though. Alright, I'm going to try to go for a spore again. My Blissey's faster, right? I don't really remember. I don't remember if my Blissey's faster or not. Freeze dry. Oh! I mean, that is some really good damage. <laughs> oh my gosh. If we can get like a one turn wake up, we might be able to snag the win. I don't know, that freeze dry did a lot of damage though. Yeah, we might lose right here. That was that did a lot more damage than I thought it was gonna do. One turn work up. Dang. Alright, yeah, he wins. I feel like that second freeze dry did like a lot more than the first. But I guess it is what it is. Oh man. I should I don't know why I did Dazzling Gleam over Hyper Voice the first one. That was my bad. I probably that probably would have completely changed everything, honestly. Man, we almost turned that around with Blissey. <sighs> hmm. Now we're gonna keep on battling. Yeah. Man, I probably could play that better. Not gonna lie. All right, let's see what this one is. Physical, 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 special. Are you kidding me with this? <laughs> Are you kidding with this? Okay, we're gonna do the same lead again. Um, I do not want to bring Blissey to this though. So I guess it's gonna be these two is my backup. Although, we'll try Croconaut. There's a lot of dragons on that team. <laughs> Plus Freeze Dry is like four times damage to Gyarados. Four times damage to Dragonite. And then regular damage to Dragapult. Regular damage to uh, Brax Caliber. We have Ro we have a we have Agent Power for freaking Volcarona. But we'll see. See what he's running though. Oh, maybe we can take a win. Who knows? That's a lot of dragons though. His team's like all physical, so it's, I knew this is what we were gonna run into, but it's okay. <laughs> Rex Caliber and Gyarados. Who would have thunk? Now I wonder if this is gonna force them to do a. Goes. I think I'm just gonna do this, and I think I'm just going to do this. Honestly, we'll see what happens though. The Gyarados could Terra into ground, maybe, or they could try and do it into the um, Rex Caliber. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Right, so, it just takes it. Gyarados gone. It might one-shot my my chickadee, my fluttermane. Are oh, you just going for a quick? Yeah. No, we're still alive. I didn't do very much. 
Cerulege, huh? He might go for a Shadow Sneak, not gonna lie. If I was him, I'd go first. Yeah, I would just go for the Shadow Sneak. That's exactly what I would have gone for also. But now it makes me wonder what... He's probably going to do some ice move towards me, I guess. Yeah, I see the spear. Ow. 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 Alright, so we know he's wearing Lucky Dice. That's some decent damage. Lower that attack. I want to stall a little bit longer is what I want to do. I'm just going to protect. Because I don't know what they're going to do. Because all they've seen me do so far is they've only seen me do Dazzling Gleam and Chilling Water with the Forges. <laughs> well, let's see what kind of read they're going for. So he's going for the Shadow Sneak there. And then he's going for something. Glade Rush. That's fair. <sighs> um, hmm. Let's go for a Baneful Bunker. I think I need to try for a second uh, protect here. This is what I think I need to do. This will also see if they terror or not into anything. I'm just trying to get my crocodile a little bit of leeway before he comes in. And a little bit more HP back on my... Uh, Oh, we got a second protect off. Nice. So we do get to last another turn. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, that seems like a silly one on you, because, uh, yeah, your fire dude's about to not enjoy what's about to happen to him. All right, KO'd something for us. We just got really lucky with that second protect. And now we can take another Glaive Rush to the face. All right, what's your last Pokemon, though? Dragonite, which is probably going to be your Terra, which probably has extreme speed. Which, now you're probably going to, uh... I'm gonna do this. I don't. I don't even know what to do. I'll do this because I'm just gonna get extreme speeded. Yeah, that's what I figured. I'll probably get earthquaked. Or you get glaive rush. I don't know. All right, just gonna burn them. That makes sense. Does it KO us though? Oh, we still live. Could. Alright, let's see here. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I'm pretty sure we can just KO that thing. Do Bample Monkey here. Where's the accuracy? I think I'll just go for this, though. We should be faster than both of them. I 
game should be dead. Alright, so it's just Dragonite left. We have a chance. Completely fair. A crit hit me. Alright, he's not... He should not be able to beat my... Uh, not with that thing. We've also got this just to lure in another... Uh, so it's got extreme punch and... Or it's got extreme speed and fire punch. We know that much. Normal, I'm guessing. For the extreme speed boost. Typical, typical Dragonite build. Yes, sir. He's used, what, two of those now? Out of five. I was like, if we can get a poison, that changes a lot of things. Yeah, I guess we'll just go ahead and commit to it. I mean, to be fair, he's going to extreme speed us. <laughs> we, well, we might as well do what we can. If I can poison it, that would be a game changer. But I have an awful thing of luck when it comes to stuff like that. So, yeah. Unless it's toxic spikes, which it doesn't matter because he was flying. Yeah, he's just extreme speed. That's three now. I don't know what item it's holding, though, is the thing. This should do a little bit more damage. Just cannot get the poison. I'm just gonna keep poison jabbing. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else moves. I don't know what other moves it has. Alright, he's just a dragon dance. Which is completely fair. I, unless he crits me, I still don't think that's enough. I don't know what his last move is, though. Can I not get a poison proc, please? Do we think he goes for another one, or do we do the Baneful Bunker? Do we get the Baneful Bunker poison on him, then the Poison Jab will just KO in general. I think I'm going to try it. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Because I'm at full HP, so he's probably thinking, um... Okay, cool. And since it was a direct hit, he poisons. So now any move we do is a crit. Oh, I hit a Lumberry. Okay, well, that's that. That's four extreme speeds, though. It's five extreme speeds, though. Because it doesn't want to hit Tathos, does it? No, it does not. It does give us to almost half, though. Poison again. Dang it. I mean, I feel like we just win this now. Oh, he's got Outrage. That will one-shot me, though. Dang it! Oh my goodness. That really sucks that we never got a poison with Poison Jab, ever. If we would have got that, we would have easily won. Oh my gosh. I should have... Well, with Outrage plus Dragon Dance, there's no way I would have uh, been able to take that hit. Man, that sucks. I don't think we deserve that loss. Man, I can't believe the stupid... Uh... Poison Jab just never wanted to land. The only poison we got was from Maple Bunker. Ugh. That's so stupid. Yeah, this team's doing way worse than the, uh... The, um... The, the regular defense one. But to be fair, I knew that we were going to be running into nothing but physical attackers this time, so... Special. Physical, fickle, special, physical, physical. Wow. 
Look at this game go. Hmm. We could do some interesting things over here. Um... We can try Gudra, we'll try Toxapex. I guess we'll have this party in the back. Sounds good to me. They already knew what they wanted. Oh man, this is gonna be this is gonna be rough, kiddos. I honestly feel like I deserve that one, but poison jab would just not do anything. Okay. What do we want to do here though? That's the that's the, the thing. I don't know how fast the thing is. We'll just start with the rock slide. And I guess we'll focus on this thing. I don't quite know yet. Final gambit me. Cool. That's fair. So now it's Gudra and... <laughs> oh, wow! Final Gambit. Right, well, we get a rock slide off, I guess. Do we get a flinch? Sure don't. Trick Room. Oh, boy. Why not? Um. Well, Harry Allen's gonna outspeed us like tremendously. I don't know what its move set is though. Uh. Um, but we know we outspeed now. Do this. Oh boy, what who's he trying to one hit KO? Knock off. Oh, there goes that. That's what I was kind of trying to prevent. But see, that didn't work out in my uh, my favor. Let me just go for this. What is that going on now? Oh, train punch. That's fair. Yeah, I don't think I can beat that. Oh my! I knew that physical attackers were going to be rough. Special defense is just not as good as regular defense in this meta. I mean, this is not going to feel good, I guess. Oh, boy. Pretty sure we just get one shot. Now I'm pretty sure we just get one shot. Oh, we live! Turns of trick room do we have though? I really needed the dimensions to turn back to normal. GG. Yep, that's gonna be a GG right there. 
Because I have nothing that can prevent that. Yeah, we just got we got stomped in every instance. That sucks. Just too many physical attackers for us to deal with. Yeah, because when we did the regular defense video, we didn't really see that, or we didn't run into too many, um... We didn't run into too many special attackers, which was the thing. So, I mean, choice specs, whatever. Oh, I mean, floor just lives for some reason, I don't know why. <laughs> Those should do some decent damage, I guess. That did nothing. Like that did absolutely jack nothing. I mean, you just gotta protect. Oh man, our first zero three video, that sucks. I mean even at least the speed team was able to snag a win. I feel like I deserved the win on the second one though, but RNG with the poison was just never in my favor. And then all of a sudden we're just doing no damage to that thing. That's fair. <laughs> my floor just was just really, really bulky. It was, this is why floor just was able to take the choice spec uh, helping hand sunny day eruption from full HP and still live, even though it was like at half, so... At least Floor just was impressive. But yeah. I mean, that's just gonna happen in these videos. We're not there's gonna be ones where we just don't win a single game, but it got to show off some of the bulk on some of the Pokemon, I guess. No, we'll take our three our zero three game. I think we've just got special tech as the last one that we have left. And then it'll just be random theme teams that we do from there. So hopefully you guys just enjoyed this video. Um, Physical Gudra, kind of man. Um, Fluttermane didn't really get to shine in many because, well, I guess it did one shot at Gyarados. But uh, yeah. It was an okay team, not the best. <laughs> That's two videos now where uh, they've literally just used the um, Annihilate to just final gambit one of my tank Pokemon. It's so funny, just like, and insta give. Well, can't do anything about that. But, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, yeah, I know we didn't win any, but, I mean, hey. It's not like we just got steamrolled. A lot of the games came down to like the last couple of Pokemon or 1v1, so it is what it is. But thank you guys for watching, and if you've got any suggestions for theme team type of videos, leave them down in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!